Demonetize. Come on, boys and girls. Come a little bit closer. I'm the reanimator. Four, three, two, one. Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? I hope that you're feeling good. If I sound a little bit under the weather, it's because uh, spring has come to the Florida. Da, 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 and I'm allergic to everything right now. So I hope you're good. And if you're not feeling good, I hope this lifts your spirits. And yes, you are watching my show, the only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why ask why? This joke never gets any better, but if you laugh, then thank you. And it's Wednesday again, and I want to thank you all for being my YouTube friends once again. I know I say this every week, and I truly do mean it. It would be a very lonely world without you guys, so thank you for being there for me. And if I can ever be there for you, let me know in the comments. I also want to thank you for clicking that subscribe button and that little bell icon because it's part of the YouTube experience and adding me to your YouTube experience. Uh, we need to get real serious right now. So if you want to fast forward, I will understand. But you know stuff is going wrong in the world. Movie theaters are closing and movies are getting bumped back. And or postponed altogether. And that means things are going to get a little weird for the channel. But I plan to try to keep the comedy coming and the lighthearted reviews coming to help you get through this hard time. The content will keep coming the same, although the movies might not be as fresh as you remember them. But I think we'll do good. And with that said, let's get right into that movie review, shall we? And today's movie is Bloodshot. It is a PG-13 movie. It is an hour and 49 minutes, which does not satisfy my number, whatever. It is an action drama sci-fi and should be listed as fantasy as well. It's from director Dave Wilson. This is his debut, and I feel like someone should have stopped him. <laughs> uh, writer Wade Widlow did the screenplay on this. Uh, he's the guy who brought us uh, that island movie, which I can't remember the name of, and Eric Hosser, who did The Bird Box. Uh, based on the works of Kevin Van Hook, Rob Layton, Layton, Rob Layton, and Don Pearl. Uh, hopefully they're not spinning around very fastly in kind of an explosive way. <laughs> <laughs> that their comic book has been made into this. <laughs> uh, stars Vin Diesel, who goes from kind of shouty to kind of quiet to kind of shouty. Is a Gomez as KT, and she is kind of the love interest in this movie. Uh, Toby Kebel as Martin Nax, and Guy Pierce as Emerald Harting, which uh, I have some big problems <laughs> with. Uh... Our production companies were Sony Pictures Entertainment, Bona Films, Columbia Pictures, Cross Creek Pictures, One Race Films, Original Films, The Hideaway Entertainment, God, uh, Valiant Entertainment, and our distributor here in the good old United States of America. God bless America. Land that I love was Columbia Pictures. Our special effects were done by Dimensional Imaging, which I think they did the Spider-Man movie, but uh, I'm not going to go any deeper into that. Uh, image, Engine, Design, Method Studios, and Rodeo VFX. And now for my thoughts on the film. 
it's laughably bad. But it's better than what's going on in reality right now. Uh, Vin Diesel flying through the air, being shot and punching people. Uh, it's Spider-Man level bad. If you remember Spider-Man 3, 2, and 1, you know, that was that's the level of CGI you get here. And it's very nostalgic, but on top of that, it's also bad. And it just doesn't it doesn't age well and you feel like you're watching an older movie you know from 2007 when things were good and you weren't worried about stuff uh vin diesel goes from shout to quiet guy very quickly and back and forth and it's kind of frustrating and i feel like we could probably throw this on the director dave wilson and jeff waldo and I'm going to because they're the people we're going to throw under the proverbial bus for this one. I don't know what else to say. And even though it's bad, it's better than what's going on in reality right now. So, yeah, Uh, the love interest in this movie, Eliza Gonzalez, is really nice. I feel like her character is just underutilized and she's underdressed slightly for several things and uh guy pierce as dr ml Harting or whatever his name is is bad guy spelled it out for you as much as this guy does uh i don't think they'd let him have a bad guy license although this is a great thing for valiant comics i mean it is not the greatest thing to come out as a publisher but it's great to see a comic book franchise come out that isn't dc or marvel And yes, this is a bad outing for them, but I feel like this may bring something new, new to the table that we weren't expecting. Because if you're tired of X-Men and all that other stuff, you're looking for something different. Maybe Valiant is your, you know, way to go. I want to see what CinemaSense thinks just because if I said something hilarious here and it makes it into their thing there and all the better and all the more entertainment. And what more could you want? Are you not entertained? Let's just run down the numbers and get into the inside the box score on this. It is a 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb, which is not bad for a movie, but you kind of want more. It says 31% on the Rotten Tomato meter, but I feel like this maybe a week ago, this would have been correct. But now with everybody looking for a good escape, hopefully when this comes to VOD, you'll probably watch it just because... It's something interesting. It does have a 78% audience score, which I feel like, yeah, people are looking for that escape, and this is better than, well, watching the news and everything else that's going on right now. I feel like this movie is bad, but it's not unwatchably bad, and for that, I'm going to say it's a definite TV watch. It's hilariously, you know, dated and it's CGI and everything, but it's got its comedic moments and stuff like that, and it works for me. Uh, I don't see this as a DVD buy. I'm going to say pass because it is, it is just that. It's something that should have gone direct to TV. You know what I'm saying? As for a theater we watch, because theaters are closed now, you're going to have to wait for this to come to VOD. It'll help you get through because it's decent enough that it will fill up the hour and 49 minutes that you wouldn't, which which you'd have to put up with of staring at the paint on the walls and wondering why that stain on the ceiling keeps getting bigger. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is as much justice as I'm going to give this movie. So with all that said, if you like what you see in here, make sure you click that like button. Likes are how YouTube works now. Likes and views. That's how YouTube works, and that's how this video gets shared with more people. So please like and view, and if you liked and viewed and you didn't click that like button, what's wrong with you? And, you know, all comments 100% guaranteed response. If you need someone to talk to, hit me up in the comment box. I am here for you. I will respond to all comments, no matter how inane. Uh, Let's, you know, if you need to reach out for somebody and you're stuck in self-quarantine, I'm your dude. I'm here from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. And 5 to 
midnight on the weekends. <laughs> And you know I have to ask. I have an Amazon. I have a Patreon. It is not without your support that keeps this channel afloat. You don't realize how little I have to do so much. I don't know how I do it without you. Thank you for your support so far. And thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, because this is a giant running joke on my channel, because I cannot stop saying it. If you like what you see in here, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. <laughs> And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye. Oh, Self-quarantine. Five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, two, one. And Rodeo VFX. <coughs> so with that out of the way, and hopefully some comedic... Five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Way to go. <laughs> Brian, uh, we didn't get the keyboard again. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with the mail system. Uh, if it you get charged back by Amazon, let me know.